Approximately 7% of Cullman City Schools third grade, third grade students are reading below grade level. And while that is better than many school districts, a lot of work, of course, remains to be done. ABC 3340's Muriel Bailey joins us right now. Muriel, I know that you looked into how teachers at one school in this district got rather creative to encourage reading. And Pam, at West Elementary, they use a vending machine that's full of books. Teachers say the students are eager to earn a token to use that machine, so much so it's also improving their behavior. As students walk the hall at West Elementary School in Coleman, there's a bright reminder to read. It's a vending machine that dispenses books. It is one token. I had one sweet little child because how many tokens do I need? One. Sixth grade reading teacher Christy White came up with the idea. Community members donated money to help buy the machine and the books to fill it. Our community stepped in. We had some people in the community that said, hey, we want to help y'all. The books are available for all grade levels. Teachers keep tokens in every classroom and students can get one based off academics or behavior. It could be for improvement in their reading. It could be for AR points, you know, reading and taking tests. It could be unbelievable behavior, stepping up. It may be that they just had a jump in reading or in math. White says not only does it encourage students to read, it also encourages them to do well in the classroom. That the students are thrilled when they're the student that gets the token that week or one of the students, they will come down here and the class members cheer for them. I've gotten one. Fifth grader Lorelai Johnston has gotten one book so far and she hopes to get more. This has some different books that the library doesn't have and I'm able to keep the book longer because it's mine so I have more time to read it. More time to read is also good for sixth grader Lucy Williamson. I reread most of the books I read at some point. White says the students even offer suggestions. Y'all need to get this book in there or we run out. Are you going to get some more of that book? For the students, it's a reward. For White, it's a gift for the future. Because I feel like reading for all people, that is you're opening the doors to so many pathways for them. And White tells me this concept also gives children who don't have books at home a chance to build a collection. If there's something in the classroom you'd like to see covered, email me at muriel at abc3340.com.